Hi everybody, welcome to Midlife Crisis 22. Tess is behind the camera today, say hello Tess. Hello. <laughs> right, today we are going to fit a helmet intercom. Um, we've got these from EJS. They are riders helmet interphones. I've already cheated and fitted one already to my helmet. You got that? Because normally what I do is end up doing this and it annoys everybody, so we'll get rid of that. <laughs> We've got uh, Tez's AGV, um, her Rossi Wrap AGV. Um, we've got the sticky pads, we've got the helmet connector for the actual unit. Um, we've got a metal thing, I have absolutely no idea what that's for. So if anybody knows in the comments, can you let me know? I think it might be so you could have that instead of this connection on the back of this one because it seems to line up with the screws but not 100% sure so I've set of screws again, no idea nice tool for doing things up and we've got sticky pads and we haven't got, here we go and we've got two microphones, sorry, a microphone, two speakers and the wiring so I think what we'll do to start with is we'll undo the wiring now, did they do it left-handed or did they do it right-handed? Right and round and round we go. So, put left in the bin. All right, I'll throw it near to the bin. So, um, basically, you've got to take the insides of the lid off. So, unfortunately, it's a bit... Uh, I don't like doing this. In fact, I hate doing this. And when friends have asked me to fit theirs for them, I always bail out. Because uh, I take ages putting things in. So you've got three clips in this side that should come out and there's one, two, three and that one should then ease out. There we go. I hate it when it does that. Anyway that's all out. Put that there and we have a the back piece on this comes out. So these are all washable then. That's good news. Anyway, we'll leave that in for now. So um, the first thing I think we're going to do is we're going to put the clip in. I'm getting further and further back, so I'm trying to get away from the camera. So you've got two screws in the back. What you need to do is undo those to the point where this will just slide on nicely. Okay, just keep trying it. Sometimes the screws will come out. If they do, then um, never mind. Right, this goes down to that point there. So it's locked onto there, and then obviously we're going to do it back up again. You can position this anywhere that suits you on your helmet. If you, um, I position it on the left hand side, probably because as a rider, then you can. You can activate it without taking your hand off the throttle. However, some people prefer it on the right hand side. Um, so fit it to where you feel happy you would want it. I suppose now with the cruise control it wouldn't really matter. Going back to being old school again. I forget about all the gimmicks I've got. Obviously you don't really want to be over tightening this. You want to do it to a point where... You know, it's tight, but you know, if you over tighten it, it's only plastic, it'll all just strip out. Try and do each one up a little bit at a time, that way one won't come undone. And then just keep checking, there you go, nice and solid. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get the unit, which we've had on charge. And we'll put that in. They just slot in, they've got little slots at the back, they just slot in. However, wait for the click. And it shouldn't come out. Oh, this one does. Shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't be able to come out. We'll have a look at that in a little while. I might just need something adjusting. And now we go to... Um, 
They've actually come with some spare pads, which is great. Let's put these back in. Just put these back over here again for a minute. And now my favourite bit is trying to get this off. I have got nails, but obviously not good enough. About time I stuck my tongue out, I usually do. Mm -hmm. You can talk, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, inside the helmets here, there is like a pad ready for you and then in, in, uh, insert. So the newer helmets now are making sure they give you this, this sort of thing, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So that's one in. Can you see that? Just in there. I must admit, I do like my AGV helmets. They seem to work better for, for me and Tez, don't they, babe? Yeah. We've got some sharks and we've had all the makes and models. We've had LGVs and shoeys and all sorts, but we always end up back to these. So really, if you've got multiple helmets and you don't mind keep per moving things around. You can buy these uh, headsets as spares. Right, so that's that and that's that. So now what I do, okay, so now what I do is I plug this in so we know exactly where it is. And in fact, no, I don't. First of all, I fit, I fit these in. So first one I'm gonna put in is the microphone. And- They just Velcroed. Yes, they just Velcroed in. And then run the microphone round to the front so it's at the front of there. And then I'm just going to spin this round, get tangled up. We don't mind. And put that one in there. Like I say, these AGVs have actually got a recess for you to do this. So um, it's entirely up to you how you. Not do all helmets have. I don't know because I've not really worked on any of the other helmets, so I can't comment. We did one. That was a LGV, LGV. wasn't it? Yeah, that didn't that didn't have the facility. Just a cheaper maker. Yeah. So. Because I remember one being on me and the other one being somewhere yeah, around my it, nose. Because we have <laughs> used these before, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so now what we've got is we can run these down the back of there, out of the way. Um, I try to keep it as short as I can so that you haven't got things flapping around. Uh, be warned though that if these do come off, they will uh, they will fall off. Try so hard. Come on. One in. Make sure you put your helmet back properly. Just take your time, no point in rushing. Sometimes these can be quite hard to do, to line up. Just take your time with it, and there you go. So that's nice and sorted. So we took this into there. Do the same with that, because they've obviously got to come out. It's just take your time. It's all right if you've got little hands. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Bit fiddly. Yeah, it's, it's just mainly trying to get it so that when you put everything back together, it all slides in, doesn't trap any cables. Because obviously if you do trap the cable, then you could be in trouble. What I try and do is I line the back up. If you look in there, look, there's a little cap, uh, latch and these have to slot into there. And it's quite easy to do when you know how to do it. Unfortunately, I don't. So, here's one. 
You want to set it like there you go. How difficult is that? And we've got another one here, it's got to do the same. There you go. Patience is a virtue. Oh, you've got to have, um, you've just got to take your time. It's like anything, if you don't take your time, then it's it's going to stress you out. And then it's... Uh... Oh, you're on. Hmm? You're on. Am I on? On where? It's fleshy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's switch this out one, is it? He's all working. So, yeah, so with these AGVs, that's what you kind of need to look out for. Um, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get this back bit on again now. There we go. All nice and neat. There you go. Not too much cable hanging out because we don't want it flapping. And now we have the beautiful job of uh, finding the straps. Okay, we'll do this side first because I found that one. And uh, clicking the studs in. You remember the three studs that we clicked out? Well, I've got to find all three again. You know when they've gone in, they give that lovely discerning click. Like that, that one. That's one. <laughs> that one and got one more which is the one at the back which is eluding me a little bit well oh, I didn't get a click oh. it went in but I didn't get a click this stop out round two there's one there's two the all important. So you've got three out of the side. Yeah, you've got three each side, and um, done those two. The third one gone. And that's it. They're all in. There you go. Proper click. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's that in. The microphone is tucked round the front, round there, down in here. That's on nice and solid. And that's how we do it. Well so, done, sir. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. You take care, rad safe, and hopefully, it's some chitty chat.